What's going on guys, Drop Dusky here. Today we're going to do another beginner's crafting guide and this one's gonna be specifically for helmets. Now, if you haven't seen any of my other crafting guides or beginner's guides for that matter, they're all oriented for the day one players and they should be very, very helpful in helping you grasp how to do general crafting, right? We're not jumping into all the, the crazy meta crafting or anything like this. This is so you can you know, as a new player, not feel completely overwhelmed when wanting to get an upgrade, but you can't afford to buy one and you want to potentially try and make one using in-game stuff. So for today's example, I need an energy shield based helmet that is for my purifying flame miner. And I figured we'd go ahead and jump back into making videos with this example. It's been a while. So for those of you guys that are still around, thank you guys, dudes. Um, we're going to be doing a lot more to come. So, uh, if you're looking for a base to craft with, that's where we're gonna start. So what, what type of helmet should I use to craft with? POE Wiki, helmets in the search bar, and it's gonna take you to this page. And this page is super, super useful. The Wiki is super great for brand new players uh, to use whenever picking any item, right? So specifically for helmets today, I need energy shield, right? So we'll just come right here, energy shield helmets, click this. It's gonna take me to all the available energy shield helmets in the game, right? Now, the way you read this, this is required level, this is the required intelligence, and this is the base energy shield for any given helmet, okay? This is gonna be an end game helmet. So for the Hubris Circlet, which is the highest ES base at 76, 154 int, and they start dropping at 69. Okay, so that we know we want a Hubris, hubris Circlet, uh, and if we can't afford a Hubris Circlet because enchants can get a little pricey, then we know based on this list how to step down and prioritize which one we want so that we can get the highest amount of energy shield or AKA survivability for our character as mine is energy shield base, right? So now that we've determined how to pick a helmet, we're gonna talk about enchant and then quality, right? These two things specifically, we're gonna do this in order. Okay, so as you would craft it. Now for the enchant, this is gonna be a little different. Typically, if you're playing trade, what I would say, because the enchant pool is so, so high, uh, if you can afford it, go buy yourself the base that you're looking for with the enchant on it. Uh, it's just <clears throat> the safest bet. If you're gonna be crafting it, it's either gonna be via fossils, so you're gonna use enchanted fossils. Uh, the other way is if you've already got a really godly crafted helmet, you can run it through lab, but that's gonna take even longer and you just got a lab run over and over and over again. If you're starting from scratch and you have a couple of X, come over here in the stat filters, type in your enchant, type in the base that you want, and then for helmet specifically, 84 plus is always going to have uh, the max level potential resistances. So 84 is where you begin with on helmets. But if you ever want to check that out, you'll come to the PoE DB mods tool for, for crafting. You can take uh, pump in the helmet or whatever it is that you're building and then take a look at the stats that you're looking for, right? I want energy shield so I can see, oh, highest percent energy shield is 84. Uh, for resistances, highest resistance is 84. So 84 is my starting point, right? In an instance where you don't need that high, it's very important that you don't buy them that high. Let me explain why. If you put 75 here, you get less modifiers that are available for that item, right? If we go down to 10, you'll see there's like hardly anything, right? Because as you go up in eye level, you get more available modifiers, making it actually harder to craft, right? It's less likely for you to hit the things that you want because there's more available things in the pool, right? So always keep that in mind when picking the eye level. Now, for our specific example today, Huber Circlet, we've typed in our enchant, and to determine what enchant you need, it's either gonna be on the build that you're following as a brand new player, or you can go take a look at PoE Ninja, take a look at different builds that are running the similar skill and see what, you know, the predominant, the predominant enchant is being, that is being used, right? So for mine, it's Consecrated Ground from Purifying Flame of, applies percent increased damage uh, with a maximum of nine there. So we're gonna do a search on that and we'll see that at eye level 86, you can get one specifically for crafting for 1.9X, right? This is a great purchase considering that if we were to buy it already crafted with the things that we need on it. So this is, this is not even good energy shield, but it does have the negative nine fire resist. This is six X and it's mirrored, meaning I can't do anything to it if I wanted to, right? So. Here's another one, 8X at Mirrored, right? This is, I mean, there's big money in these. So if you're buying this lower priced one, you can turn it into something pretty valuable. Now, since we're still on the enchant, 
if you get a cool enchant, I always check my enchants when I'm running metamorphs or betrayals or anything like that, that can, or uh, you know, incubators that can drop enchants, always check them. Because as you see, this has not even been messed with, but if it has a decent base, it doesn't even have to be hubris. It could be a mine cage or something else. You could get an X for it, easy, right? We just bought one for under an X. Now it's not eye level 85, it's 82, but I got it for way cheaper than anything close and I don't have a lot of currency. So I picked it up and I can still either make a profit or use it for my character. So from there, now that we've discussed enchants and how you get them via purchase, uh, let's talk about fossils a little bit. If you're not going to purchase them, the best way I would say is to use the enchanted fossil. And you're going to do that before you craft anything else. So what I mean by that is, you know, you throw it in a single resonator enchant, single resonator enchant. Just keep doing that. Don't even worry about the stats below. Don't try, you know, don't waste other fossils with like, oh, I'm going to go energy shield and fire and enchant. No, because the enchant is so, so low chance. You just want to spam those enchants till you get what you're looking for, right? The alternative is if you've already got a good crafted helm, you can run the lab, but you know, that's sleepers and, and I don't know, I don't prefer running lab over and over and there's just so many enchants in the pool. It's really, really hard to justify running it. I just go grab you a base if you're playing trade. Okay. So now that we've got our base, we've got something with an enchant on it. Uh, we can talk about using quality. Okay. Or increasing quality. Now quality specifically, enhances the amount of energy shield base energy shield on a given item right so the cool thing about quality is if you use say an armor scrap right armor scraps are the the default way to increase quality if you use an armor scrap it's going to go up to a maximum of 20 here with armor scraps right and then you can also increase that with the catalysts to even higher with the perfect fossil, it can go up to 30, right? Now, the reason that I always go enchants first and then quality, let me let me show you guys this. So I have the enchant on this helm, right? I can scour that down. I still have the enchant, right? It doesn't go away on scour. So you're good, right? You can Now you can craft this and do whatever you want with it. The same exact thing works on perfect fossils, right? So if we take single socket resonator, right and a perfect fossil is it going to be weird there it goes and we hit this we're hoping for as close to 30 as possible now if we get above you know 26 27 i'll normally stick with that we've only got three of them today so for the example we'll try and hit a high one but if we don't at least you know exactly what the process is right so it's in chance first now we're going to go for quality so we hit quality 27 percent right so bringing that base up even higher. So if we scour this down, right now it's at 97 instead of our previous base of 76 based on that quality, right? So that's the, the, the increase in quality, especially above 20 is huge, is huge for that helmet. So when you're doing helmets or gloves, anything, basically anything, that base quality is going to increase the primary base stat of that item, right? So this is energy shield, it's energy shield. If it's evasion, it'll be an evasion. Always remember that a lot of times if you have perfect fossils, it's totally worth it to try and get an extra 7%, especially if this is something you're gonna be using for end game. Next, we're gonna talk about how we want to craft this, okay? So specifically what we would be looking for here is really high energy shield rolls, uh, any subsequent resistances we can get, right? And then the the, like the super money roll is we want to get negative nine fire resistance to nearby enemies, right? So this tool, which will be linked in the description below, is exactly how we're gonna map that out before we do anything to this helm, okay? So if we're going through these and we take a look, we know once we hover what the fossils actually do. For our specific example, more armor, energy shield, or evasion modifiers on dense. So we're gonna want dense fossils. As you notice, as soon as I click dense fossils, we get a plus one on energy shield, increased energy shield. Anything related to energy shield has got an increased plus one. We've got some spell chance block in there. We don't want any of that, but it's part of the rolls for this available fossil. So it's gonna be dense. And then we want the negative fire resistance, right? So we're gonna look for a fire-based fossil right here, more fire more modifiers, no cold modifiers. So for Scorched, this will give us plus one to fire resistance. 
And then if we go down to delve, which is what we care about, nearby enemies have percent fire resistance reduced nine, right? So we really, really want this. This is our GG. Now you can do three fossils, but I don't like to muddy the pool personally. I want as many energy shield, I want as many chances at this and energy shield as possible. You could throw in like an elemental fossil here or something to try and get other resistances. But I think this is the best approach right here. So we've done our enchant. We've got our base. We've done our enchant. We've gotten our quality up. Now we've figured out which fossils we need, which is dense and scorched. And now we're going to roll this item. Okay. So we're good to go. We've got our hubris. We're going to take out some two socket resonators. We've got some dense fossils. Oops, we got some dense fossils and we got some, where's Scorched? There you are, Scorched, it looks like a mosquito. Scorched and now we're just gonna roll, right? Now, if you don't have resonators, remember, always check the value of both. Like sometimes the yellows are an extra C more, then get these ones. If you have scours laying around, you just scour them every time. If it doesn't hit what you want, scour it, right? So we're gonna throw a dense in there. We're gonna throw a scorched in there. And if you look, it says more fo mo uh, fire modifiers, more armor, energy shield, or evasion modifiers. And then we pray, dude. Give us a good roll. Okay, so we hit this. First roll, we get 156 energy shield, which isn't great, right? Super low. Uh, if we take a look at the tiers, we got, you know, tier five energy shields. Tier 6% energy shield. We got no open prefixes or suffixes, but we did hit nearby enemies have negative five fire resistance. So right off the bat, you could use something like this if you wanted to, but the energy shield is just way, way too low. We really want to get higher. So we're just going to keep rolling until we hit something good. Boom. Oops, we got to scour it down because we're using these old ones. 166, which is terrible. We did hit a tier one on the energy mana but we, we didn't get our negative fire. So keep going. And this is basically the process, right? You just keep on looking for something that's decent. Okay, this is much better uh, energy shield. Well, a little bit marginally better energy shields. We have the negative fire resistance and we have 183, right? 183, not amazing still. We're gonna keep on going. See if we can at least crack into 200, but ideally we want, you know, way higher than that. If we take a look at this, on the 84, we have almost 252 with with uh, quality 17, right? So, so we've got energy shield five here and three. So we need much much better energy shield. So let's keep going. Scour 119. Come on, Iron Jesus. And I mean, even if we don't hit something godly, this is the exact process that you're gonna go through, right? There's 217 much better we got tier one energy up there tier three or tier two on percent which is highest we can get with this helm so this is going to be around what we're looking at uh but we didn't get our negative resistance right so that's what we want that's the gg so let's keep going let's see if we get lucky oops our go 162 136. This is terrible RNG today, dude. It knows. It knows. Uh, 135. 201. Better, gener better energy shield. Not negative 9 fire resistance. So keep going. 183, no negative fire. We have two more resonators, so let's see what we get. Oops, power. Oh. Really good energy shield. We didn't hit the fire though. Damn it, 283. That's, that's, I mean, the fire is exactly what we, the fire, the negative fire resistance is what we want, right? So if we don't get that, then we got to get rid of it. But fuck that. It's, that would be a baller ass helm if we had the negative fire resistance. So let's keep going. No, damn, that sucks. 
133. Of course we hit it on the 133, dude. Oh my goodness. Okay, so we have prefix, prefix. Let's see what we can do with this since we're here. And I can show you at least what we would do, right? If you have an open prefix, you can take this over here. Uh, if you don't have both energy shields, right, we can craft percent energy shield, making this 211, okay? So we hit 74, which is a pretty good roll. 211, not great, okay? Not gonna lie, this is not a great energy shield helm, but it has our negative nine to fire resistance and it has our consecrated ground enchant, right? So this specifically is something that I would be okay walking away with, at least for a starter. Now we would wanna keep on going with the resonators and the two fossils once we get you know a better so like let's for instance just price this out okay let's price this out as we have the the enchant let's go for energy shields 204 and we'll do some elemental resistance 22 and then uh enemies have nearby and let's just price it out to see what it would be worth on its own so we have a we an afk we have a 6x here right so this has been up for multiple days. I would probably put it up for four and sell it. But if you remember, my investment was less than an X and probably about 75 C in, in, in fossils and resonators and other things like that. So we could easily get three or four X for this helmet. Uh, you know, if nothing else too, we could, we could definitely make our money back, but this is definitely a profit helmet, right? In my opinion, this is something that is really gonna, this is gonna sell well, right? So if I were making this for sale, you know, or if I were making this for um, just off of a random drop, totally sell it. I'm totally going to use it right now, even though I'm going to lose some energy shield. That's fine with me. I'll lose a little energy shield. I'm going to get more damage on, on on my enemies. And eventually I will sell this helmet or I will get another one, another base, and I will craft again. Guys, that's it. It's as simple as that. Dense fossils, whatever element you need, right? So if this were cold, we'd go with the cold fossil, negative cold resistance, right? So if we recap, Go to PoEDB to get yourself your, your base, right? Pick your eye level based on using the tool. Uh, either pick up your enchant or use fossils or labyrinths to get your enchant. Then you want a quality to get as close to 30% as possible. Then using the tool, figure out what your base, so life or, or energy shield, pristine or energy shield, and then whatever element it is that you need to get the negative nine and then from there you're good to go and just craft away guys. Thank you so, so much for checking out this video. I really hope that it helps. Uh, I'm, I love making these beginner beginner's guides for everybody. I know that this game can be super, super confusing. I will put a link in the description below uh, with every step-by-step -step process that we went through. I know this isn't like a super GG helmet, but you know what, this is how, this is how it goes, right? You're gonna get something that's decent and usable and then you can take that and keep moving up the ladder and keep increasing and making your character better and better. I think this is an okay shield uh, helmet for now and we'll make something better as we get further along in the process. Guys, don't forget if you're new to the channel, we stream on Twitch Monday through Friday uh, at 1 p.m. Mountain Standard Time. It's twitch.tv slash Trapadooski. Thank you guys so, so much for all the support. We've had a lot of people uh, stopping by the channel and it's been you know three or four years that we've been doing full-time streaming. So thank you guys, everybody. So, so much. And if you're new, don't forget to subscribe, like, comment, let me know what you think. Let me know what other videos you'd like to see, whether it's, uh, you know, more new player crafting stuff, a little more complicated stuff or anything around the Atlas, guys. Thank you so, so much. Good luck out there and we'll see you soon. Peace.